Good evening, I'm meteorologist Sarah Spivey. While it was rainy pretty much all day around San Antonio, we mainly deal, dealt with light rain around San Antonio, but that was not the case out to the west and south of Highway 90. Those areas, some of those areas saw six to eight inches of rainfall leading to flash flooding issues out there. Again, here in San Antonio, only about a quarter of an inch of rain in many spots, but rain is starting to move on out. And for the rest of the night tonight, it should be fairly dry until, however, the overnight hours. Now, right around midnight, we're going to be looking out to the west to see uh, some storms develop. If those storms develop, they could be on the stronger side, potentially even severe, and we're going to watch to see how much those storms hang on in the overnight hours. If they can make it to San Antonio, they'll make it to San Antonio right around dawn tomorrow, and they could pack a punch. Heavy rain is certainly a possibility, but also potentially some gusty winds, so we'll keep an eye on that. that again that is early tomorrow morning on Sunday pre dawn but for most of the day on Sunday after those storms move on off to the east by about 10 11 a.m. We're going to have a fairly quiet day in the afternoon with only a chance for isolated showers and storms in the afternoon tomorrow. So if you want to get some time outdoors this weekend, I think tomorrow afternoon should be fine as a whole. But again, tonight we're going to be watching out for the slight risk for severe weather, especially west of San Antonio toward Del Rio, Rock Springs, Lakey, Bandera, Hondo. But even here in San Antonio in the early morning hours tomorrow, we could have some isolated uh, severe storms. So here's how Sunday is going to shake up at 7 a.m. 60% chance for storms at 10 a.m. Those storms will be moving east. So in San Antonio, 40% chance for storms we will wake up in the upper 60s and then afternoon only a 20% chance for an isolated shower or storm a high temperature in the low 80s winds from the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour but we will not be done with the rain by any means in fact over the next seven days we're going to have a decent chance for rain just about every day uh, especially on tuesday tuesday we're going to be looking out for the potential for some severe storms as well as flooding that's tuesday and tuesday night and even as that upper level low moves off to the east there's still going to be pulses of energy that are going to keep rain chances in our forecast wednesday thursday friday yes even into next weekend when all is said and done over the next seven days we could rack up three to five inches of rainfall. So in addition to the risk for severe weather, especially on Tuesday, we are going to have to watch out for flooding issues. By the end of the seven days, we are going to be sick and tired of the rain. But you know what? Thinking about those dry summer months, it'll be nice to get some rain under our belt. Again, looking at that seven day forecast, thunderstorm chances every single day of the next seven days. We're highlighting Tuesday as the potential for severe weather and flooding and into next weekend scattered showers and storms continue.